Huawei Mate 10 Pro. This was released in November 2017. It weighs 178 grams, which is almost as heavy as a hamster, but it feels a lot better in your pocket. This is the BLA L29 version, which is for global markets and supports a dual SIM setup. This was my first dual SIM phone and it was really cool to have. But no, you cannot call the other SIM in the phone. It will go straight to voicemail. The Mate 10 Pro is built with glass at the front and the back with an aluminium frame and is IP67 certified. This means you can drop it in water one meter deep and it'll still be fine. I did spill some water on the speaker, mic and charging port and after the phone dried up, it was functioning quite normal. The Huawei Mate 10 Pro has an AMOLED 6 inch screen with an 80.9% screen to body ratio sporting a 1080 by 2160 resolution and an aspect ratio of 18 by 9. This aspect ratio is something to get used to as not all the apps or YouTube videos support this and you will have to zoom in to lose some picture uh, but you get a full screen worth of video. The operating system is the new Android Oreo with Huawei's latest EMUI 8 interface. This runs like an absolute beaut on Huawei's own high silicon Kirin 970 octa-core processor and Mali G72 GPUs. This is all supported by 6 gigs of RAM. Storage is larger than most SSDs on the market, coming in at 128 gigs of storage, so you'll need a vast amount of 4K video to fill it to the brim. Speaking of video, you have a dual camera setup, which seems to be the norm nowadays in uh, cell phones. I don't know, DSLR cameras don't have it. It sports a 12 megapixel color lens, as well as a monochrome 20 megapixel camera lens, both with an f-stop of 1.6. Yep, these are both Leica lenses with two times lossless zoom. I can confirm this is more zoom than my personal eyes have. Video can be recorded at 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames a second. There's also a slow-mo function that I don't know where to get. The front-facing I'm a very vain person camera is 8 megapixels. The beauty setting is on by default making me look like a teenage girl wearing too much makeup. This is horrible. Why is the world so fake? Well, I decided to omit the 3.5mm headphone jack, but they do give you a USB Type-C converter in the box. So no charging while listening to music on your headphones, you knob. The battery is a monstrous 4,000 milliamp hour battery and with no games will last you one and a half to two days. I'm not even kidding. Lastly, I have the newborn baby poo color, but it's also available in Midnight Streetwalker Blue, one shade of titanium gray and an even more girlier color than I have to the baby poo color, which is pink gold. This was a very quick review of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Thank you very much for tuning in and check more Carbonite videos. Wait, 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 I'm not done. I forgot to mention the AI chip and it's the first phone in the world that has an artificial intelligence chip and it has not improved my life uh, in everyday use at all. All it does, it, it recognizes things on the camera, like plants and cats and dogs. And I don't have a dog or a cat to recognize for you, but I do have this fake plant, so it can't even tell the difference between a real one and a fake one. Okay, now I'm done. Bye.